where the education of voters on how to use the new electoral voting machines is in full swing. We spoke to individuals after they went through the education. It's very easy and so smart. I'm very happy for the electoral committee that they may brought this new technology things. As the world is moving also us, we have to move. It will be very fast also for election. It won't take much of time. So it's very fast for us to use it. We are very heavy about it. About the machine, I can see it's an easy machine. Even the grannies at the farm can use the machine. So it's simple to explain for everyone. So please come and visit the stand and see how you can vote for your country and your presidential election. Yeah, I think it's very nice and it, uh, it could be very quicker than the system that, was using, uh, that we're using uh, in the past. Yeah, I think it's better, it's easy also for us of some people so you can more uh, nice understand and I think that one is better. I just go through a little bit but not all, all the step but I can see it's user friendly. Uh, anything away from paper you know manual is uh, manual operations is good however I'm not so certain or secure about the or comfortable about the security of the data once it leaves the machine. There seem to be quite a bit of human interaction and when you have that there's always room for manipulation and yeah we all know what happens with manipulation. The education on how to use the electoral voting machines will continue until the elections commence in November this year. I'm Aaron Mishaukwa reporting for the News on One.